are you saying that if you query enough on a thing, that Raven will create an index for you? Yes. yes. You're kidding me. No. Wow. So Raven is a self-optimizing database. Yes. And this is what you mean by safe by default? Yes. Orin, you're a freak. I know. The database already have all of that information. It know what what is in the database. It know what query you're making. Why shouldn't it optimize itself for you? Okay, so so let's say I'm using something like Backbone, and I want to change uh, one of these albums here, and I want to do it restfully using get, put, post, and so on. Um, I mean, can I do that directly against RavenDB using something like uh, ba Backbone Fiddler? Here we go. Let's see how. So, okay. Did, did you just create a document collection on the fly? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, you won't. I can show it to you like uh, dog slash user slash all. Here's the document. Do you want to see it with its metadata? <laughs> Oh man, oh man, that's great. Here is the document and it's made the data. You can see that we have a wall, we have this. Okay, you follow what's going on? Yeah, you're pulling out a range based on the past in count. And then you're doing a select, right, you're doing a select n plus one based on the count coming in. Okay, interesting. So what, uh... This, you're trying to show a select n plus one problem with Raven. Mm -hmm. So let's say count of ten. We don't we don't have those values. Let's say count of okay, twenty. So, so it's pulling back ten records, but they're just null. You've got a kill switch for select n plus one. Yes. So. The, the basic idea is that I, w I, I want this, I wanted the experience with having to be stop and think, not put you into a straight jacket. So most of the thing that we are talking about is this is a common problem. Let's stop it on its track before you get into a problem. And then, then if you actually have the really good reason why you want to do that, you can do that. But you know the risks. Mm -hmm.